Sub Kuramaskar, in this video I am going to talk about the modification of the sponging type of mouth parts. In the previous video I have discussed about the chewing and lapping type of mouth parts, uh, piercing and sucking type of mouth parts and biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Again I am telling you that if you know biting and chewing type of mouth part very well, you can easily remember all the modification, all the mouth parts uh, uh, in this chapter in this entomology GRF. Okay. Now today I am going to talk about the sponging type. Here, here you can see that as usual I have made one chart uh, mentioning mouth parts and modified into. Here we have to write down the labrum, mandible and maxilla and uh, labium. In this section we will discuss how this labrum is modified, how maxilla is modified, how mandible is modified, how labium is modified. So first of all labrum you can see there the labrum apipharynx and hypopharynx jointly formed a food channel. Now if you remember the diagram you can see that this labrum is denoted by the green color and you can see that the inner surface of labrum is called as epipharynx so in case of sponging type of mouth part this epipharynx and hypopharynx the tongue of uh, uh, insect formed one foot channel okay now talking about the mandible you can see that it is absent in sponging type of mouth parts okay the sponging type of mouth parts is seen in house fly okay now if talking about the maxilla you can see that it is only represented by the maxillary pulp even you can remember that maxilla have the complex structure like cardo, stripes, palpifar, having pulp, the lacinia, galea, all are absent, only we can see the pulp. Maxilla is only represented by the pulps, okay. Here you can see that the, this pink color, only represented by the maxillary pulp. Now if you talking about the labium, the majority of the modification in sponging type of mouth part is here, in the labium part, okay. Now, you can see here this structure this uh, brown structure it is actually the modification of the labium the modification of labium is called as the proboscis the proboscis act is actually divided into three part you can see that proboscis is uh, divided into three part F first on the, the rostrum you can see at the base the second one is the hostilium you can see the hostilium and last is the labellum you can see the labellum okay the, ro host, uh, the rostrum, the hostelium and the labellum. So this whole structure is called as proboscis and it is modified version of labium. Okay, you have to remember that. This portion is called as the labellum, the uh, end portion of the proboscis. And this is like sponge-like structure and two lobed. You can see that two lobes. And you can see that these structures, those are actually called as pseudotrachea. Foods are taken through this pseudotrachea and which take the liquid food by the capillary action and then it goes to the uh, food channel. As I have told that the process is divided into three rostrum, hostelum and labellum. You can see the portion hostelum. Those insects who actually take the liquid food should have the hostelum. That's why they are also called as hostelate. You can see here I have written that the labellum is the distal end of the proboscis, enlarged, two lobed and it has the pseudotrachea through which food is taken by the capillary action okay so that's for today next video will be on siphoning type of mouth parts okay and i'm requesting you to watch the previous videos thanks for watching